Centuries ago, Queen Cleopatra is reputed to have bathed in ass's milk, but we take a more scientific approach to beauty care products today. Customers are showing an increasing interest in research backed by clinical trials, which is why Eastern Mosaic took a closer look at a new range recently. Our quest for age-proof skincare took the Eastern Mosaic team to a leading Johannesburg day spa. Unlike other dermatologists, Dr. Joseph Lewis is not a brand name, but more like an industry secret who's more comfortable working behind the scenes where the real research in skincare takes place. In the process, he has, over the past 30 years, discovered chemical compounds that cause a cosmeceutical revolution in the science of anti-aging. Spending most of his impressive career finding new anti-aging ingredients in the less developed areas of scientific research and propelling them into the major league world of skincare, Mr. Lewis has brought and continues to bring breakthrough technologies and research in the medical skincare market. Mr. Lewis, welcome to Eastern Mosaic. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Where is the world at present when it comes to the field of cosmeceuticals and anti-aging technology? We've made major advances in the last decade. Um, you know, science have map, scientists have mapped the whole human genome now. I have all 4,400 human skin genes in my lab. It literally gives me the ability to test new innovative ingredients and see how they're going to react uh, on skin before we actually really test it on skin. Tell us more about the research you've done in the field of anti-aging technology and what were some of your findings? The problem with co traditional cosmetics is that when you wash your face at night, all the benefit goes down the drain, mm -hmm. right? But we changed that whole equation in the early 80s when we launched alpha hydroxy acid, which was really the first true cosmeceutical ingredient. And with these new types of ingredients in skincare products that make a lasting visible difference in the appearance of your skin, it doesn't go down the drain at night when you wash your face. From an anti-aging point of view, what are the benefits of having a darker skin? Darker skin types produce more melanin. It's an advantage, it's a disadvantage. It's an advantage when it comes to, you know, protection from ultraviolet radiation, more darker skin types evolved closer to the equator, you know, around more sun-drenched climates around the world. But it's a disadvantage when it comes to the little, the little melanocyte. Those melanocytes are so active and it only takes any kind of, uh, of irritation, mechanical, physical, or ultraviolet. So you have to be very careful when you have Asian and Indian skin types because they're most prone to pigmentation. What is the secret to prevent one's skin from aging? The fundamental cause of skin aging is what we call oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is damage to cells by highly reactive oxygen molecules. They're produced by the human body as we make energy. They're produced by ultraviolet radiation from the sun. They're produced by cigarette smoke, uh, air pollution, ozone. The best way to, pre to prevent this is with antioxidants. Mr. Lewis, tell us more about the new product that you've launched in South Africa. What makes it unique and different? This is a class of new age bioengineered antioxidants that target aging at the cellular source, the mitochondria. What etibinone is, is it's a super coenzyme Q10. It's an analog to a natural antioxidant that your mitochondria produce that the function is to protect the mitochondria from oxidative stress. Mr. Lewis, I have to ask from an Indian skin point of view. I know that this product is great in terms of anti-aging, but what about pigmentation? If you look at the core molecule of etibinone, it's not only a CoQ10, coenzyme Q10 mimic, it's also a hydroquinone mimic. We're getting the same kind of inhibition of, of, of the melanocyte to decrease melanin production, but we're getting it without cytotoxicity, without irritation. So it's a mild form. This is what, exactly what Asian skin types need. The product seems ideally suited to local conditions and clients. Aisha, what made you decide to bring this product to South Africa? What was fantastic is that you have the scientists that have made it, and it's not made by doctors, so that automatically interested me, but also that we're not destroying the skin. It's a process of induction. Tell us more about how one can benefit from using edibanone. Not only is it great for pigmentation, for fine lines and wrinkles, um, for skin texture, for glow, um, for rosacea. 
and a lot of Indian skin suffer from rosacea just because we can't see the red. Indian skins get heated sometimes very quickly and very hot. Would you say it's specifically suited for people of Indian origin and why? Yes, it is. Uh, because when you look at it, people with Indian origin, you so worry about using a harmful product or something that creates such a reaction that you can't see the redness. And with this peeling system, it's safe enough if we prepped you two weeks beforehand that we're not having a negative effect. That age-old dream of keeping our skins looking young and healthy is starting to come true. And thanks to advances made in the science of skin care, there are now measures that combat and reverse skin conditions and the signs of aging. It would seem that the field of anti-aging is a science where miracles do happen.